What's going on guys, Kevin from Epic Gardening here and today inside this bag we have onion sets. Three different types, I picked them up at a random nursery and let me show you, we've got a white one, we have a red one and we have a yellow one. And so here's the thing, planting onion sets versus onions from seed in the garden sometimes doesn't work out quite the way you want. You would think, hey, this is a baby onion, why don't I just plant this in the ground and it's going to produce a nice big onion bulb. Well, that might happen and it also might not. So the reason why, onions are a two year life cycle plant. The first year, typically what they'll do is they'll grow, they'll produce a small bulb, die back, and then they'll go through a cold snap during that winter period, and then the next year, they'll produce a flowering stalk, get pollinated, produce seeds, and the life cycle will continue. So, that stands to reason, if we have onions in this format, what does it actually mean? It means that they're typically already a year old, and so there's a risk of them bolting, which is basically just going to flower, going to seed, uh, instead of forming a nice big bulb. Now, there are some seeds, excuse me, set varieties that you can buy that have been heat treated in a way that basically guarantees they'll bulb up instead of bolt up, but I don't know if these ones are those varieties. So I'm gonna plant them. Now you might say, why would you plant these if you're not sure if they're going to become a bulb? Well, they actually are wonderful, wonderful green onion producers. So the very worst case scenario, I'm gonna have a huge amount of green onions that I can use, and to me, that's still a win. So we're gonna take it out to the front yard, we'll talk about planting depth, density, all that sort of stuff. Before we go out into the front yard, here's our onion set right here, and what's important is to plant it the correct direction. Now, you probably know this, it's probably self-explanatory when we're taking a look at this onion, but there's the root system down here, AKA the bottom, in relation to how it grows, how it's oriented in the earth, and then there's the top, and you always want to be planting bottom down. Otherwise, your onion is probably not even gonna come up, but if it does, it's gonna have this wonky sort of loop, and that's just making it do a whole lot of extra effort that there's no reason for it to do, so always bottom down, top up, or pointy side up, area with the roots, side down. As far as onion spacing, if you want to give your sets at least the opportunity to develop into a full bulb, you'll want at least four inches apart. And so I'm just gonna lay these out as I would plant them. And I'm trying to get as efficient as possible with my space, taking care not to go way too close to this because then it'll hit up against the edge here. And we'll rotate the varieties just for fun. You can also do a bit of a diamond style arrangement. So you can go like this, where you have about four inches away like this or you can go straight up squares if you'd like, but I find that wastes a bit more space, so I am gonna lay it out a bit more in a diamond-esque pattern. So I'm gonna go like this, and like this, and on and on we go. Now, you can just press them into the soil if you wish, just boom, bop them in. I really like, just for the sheer pleasure of it, using this dibbler. It's from Johnny's Seeds, but I mean, it's just a stick. You can just poke it into the ground. So I like to just do it, boom, Plop it right in there, just so that tip is barely peeking out of the soil, and we're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant the rest of these bad boys, and we're off to the races. Well, I had an epic time lapse prepared, but as soon as I finished planting, it totally failed. So I'm just gonna show it to you right now. Sorry, guys. Here we are, all planted in, looking nice and geometrically spaced. I tried as best as I could to vary the types as well, although I don't think it's gonna matter that much, to be honest with you. But that's pretty much it. What I'm gonna do now is cover with some sort of little top coat mulch, just to provide some cover, and then water it in, and we're good to go, guys. So our last little step here is to put on just a little bit of top coat. It's just a composted mulch, and all I'm gonna do is just cover maybe a half inch or so, uh, just to top this off and to provide it with a little bit of water retention, a little bit of protection from the elements, just, you know, it's just a classic mulch. So let's go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave comments down below and tell me what you wanna see on the next video. I'll see you guys later. Good luck in the garden, keep growing. Keep it epic, later.